New Skin really exemplifies what we see as a little bit of a trend recently of songs that put a higher premium on performance over pure songwriting concept. Its real brilliance lies in how you can hear that everybody is present and alive and possessed of the song. My job as the producer was to make sure that these musicians learned the song and felt comfortable enough to perform it like they feel it and they mean it and they love it. Okay. So yeah, let's let's do that. I'd say you guys just start just start running through the song, start learning it, and we'll be setting up gear around you guys as you learn it. Like this totally right now is like not show time. Like this is just figure it yeah. out time. You know what I mean? So uh, New Skin, my main concerns as an engineer were minimizing bleed as much as possible since they're all playing live together and making sure that the players were as comfortable as possible since they were still rehearsing the song and figuring out parts. Things like making sure that they can hear everything well in their headphones, you know, making sure the lines of sight were good so they could see each other while they were playing and pick up on cues. You, just, you still want them to feel like they're just playing as a band and they're not even thinking about that it's being recorded. How did, how was the feeling? Are you starting? That felt great. Are you starting to feel it more? Yeah. It feels awesome. Like, does it feel like we're feeling it? It does, it does, yeah. It seems to get better each time, so here we go. Okay. These more performance-based songs, you know it's done when it captures a feeling and it captures a vibe. I think that's a, that's a really healthy return to the aesthetic of, I might play it once. You're gonna hear who I am, where I was. You're gonna hear how much I was possessed by the song. When you have a song that's about performance, that's the most important thing. That, that, sounded, that, that was really good. Awesome. I have a lot of great feel yeah. about it. All right. <laughs> Let's dump it off of the tape. Do you wanna get all those? Or? Let's just do that last one. Yeah. yeah, we can do that last one. Oh yeah, look at the DC offset of the kick. Yeah, I was it's, saying it's that. Been doing that. Huh. But, we were recording with a healthy staple of unknowns. We had a whole bunch of new microphones that came to us from Studio Logic Sound. Most of them were AEAs. We had a couple of lunch boxes of new gear. You know, we had the Fredenstein equipment. We had the Heritage preamp. These were things we wanted to do, we wanted to explore. We just needed to explore them thoroughly yet quickly. There's a lot of room for decisions to be instinctual or to be quick or to be gut. There's very rarely catastrophic consequences to deciding, you know, to use one microphone instead of another. Maybe like another three inches back. Yeah, like that. The 440 is a super classic mic predating rock and roll by a long shot and therefore not really designed for somebody to be way up close to it and moving around a lot. This mic sounds enormous, and when you get too close, it's like too big. There's no room for anything else. And yet, despite that, we just sort of decided to go with it anyway and deal with the consequences of Mackenzie being an inch closer or an inch farther away from one syllable of a word to another, potentially. We were sort of ready to throw caution to the wind and, and just go for it.
sounds, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm so Thank excited, you. I can't yeah. stand it. If Mackenzie wants to come in here for a second and underline phrases that she'd rather me say if she doesn't like what I'm, if she'd rather me focus on some other words. I think you're fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll try it again then. Sharon came into this as a guide for the process for Mackenzie, having been through Shaking Through back in January of 2010, and having, over these last three years, grown enormously as an artist. All throughout the process, it was great because Sharon was there to sort of guide her and reassure her, give her a heads up about what the steps were like, what the process was like, what it's like to do this under these circumstances. All the way down to recording an episode of Shaking Through in front of cameras. So like other than percussion and like him messing around on guitar, I mean his nickname is Bass Cowboy for like no reason because He's really good at just like going, so just let me know what you think of what he's doing. Okay. Like maybe like one note. Yeah, just kind of like. Maybe you can try that reverse thing. This. You want to split it? You want to do two? Left, right, or? Well, like one reverse, one forward. I could, right? Oh. I mean, you could. <laughs> two amps then? Yeah. Yeah, I want to do that, because that's, that's where it's at. Okay. So Adam was playing the Eastwood 12-string guitar, and that was running through a hardwire delay pedal and a hardwire reverb pedal. Wow, that sounds awesome, Adam. Really? Yeah. I can change the time of the treble too, obviously. What we did was we split the signal before it went to the reverb pedal. So we had just the delay signal going to the Supro, and then the other signal was going through that hardwire reverb on the reverse setting, and that was getting sent to another amp. So basically what that did was you had two signals, you pretty much had like a dry and a wet guitar signal that was just being recorded at the same time. time Adam puts into his records is purely because he just loves doing it. That is part of that thing that you're capturing. You're capturing the person enjoying themselves doing what they're doing. Okay. I really liked what you played there a lot. Cool. Thank you. Nice. Killa. Thanks, dude. What's going on here? Adam's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> So the real brilliance of the song New Skin doesn't really lie in the melody per se, or in the words themselves, or in the bass part, or the drum part. Its real brilliance lies in the collaborative performances of the people that were involved in this recording. When the group of people fits together, and they're comfortable with each other, and they're inspired by each other's playing, you can't go wrong. Shaking Through is produced by Weatherday Music, a nonprofit dedicated to supporting independent music and the community that surrounds it. Your support helps sustain this series, which creates bold new art and resources to inspire the independent music community. To get involved, go to weathervanemusic.org.